Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Today's Whiteboard Wednesday, or shall I say screencast, is going to be a continuation of last week's Whiteboard Wednesday where I talked about the benefits of point estimation. And today I'm going to actually show you how your bug tracker can actually help, uh, help do that for you or, or automate it. So to jump right into it, uh, I'm going to be working in Jira today. Uh, kind of funny story how I got started using Jira. A couple months ago I did a, a blog post called Seven Ways to Piss Me Off and Not Buy Your Software. And uh, of all people, the, the CMO of Atlassian uh, calls me up and, and says, boy, you know what, I'm subscribed to your blog, I love it. Uh, I, I read your post where you're you know, giving Jira and Atlassian some, some kudos of, of kind of our model. You know, we'd like to be a sponsor of your blog, which is how I got my advertiser. And then also, we'd like to give you a free copy of Jira. So I, I thought that was pretty cool of Atlassian. Uh, very cool. Thank, thank you, John. Thank you, Atlassian. Appreciate the free copy of Jira. So that's how I started getting uh, using Jira. And Jira is Jira's very, very customizable. You can, you can put plugins in it, and you can do a, a number of things, in, such as create iterations and whatnot in it. So, so that's kind of the first step of uh, customizing your bug tracker to help you uh, automate your point automation. And the first thing that I actually did was I created a user-defined field in Jira uh, with the, the Fibonacci-like series points in it. Uh, or the planning poker points. So to illustrate that, if I go to create a new issue here, and these are customizable as well, issues, user story task, that's what I created for my team. Um, so if I was to create a new user story, I'm not gonna create one, I'm just gonna show this to you quickly. You know, I created the user defined field here with uh, the different points, uh, zero, one, two, three, five, and it looks like hanging off the camera is 13, 20, 40, 100, and a question mark. So uh, I created that user-defined field in my particular, uh, uh, for, for this particular project. And then as you can see here, all my different uh, defects or user stories have points assigned to them. So, you know, right then and there, not only are you going to get an overall project uh, shall I say bird's eye view of point analysis as I you know, put down on the whiteboard uh, last week, but then you also get down to the granular level of per task estimation, which is really, um, I, I've never said this before on my blog, but you know, go ahead and Google this, but like invest, if you look at the invest module, mo uh, model, which is independent, negotiable, valuable, estimatable, small, and testable uh, granularity of user stories or tests, uh, tasks, you know, th th this really can help you then say, okay, I have all these bugs or I have all these tasks in my system. Uh, I need a place to, to put my one-to-one -one estimation on. And so that can really help if you can put user-defined fields within your bug tracker or uh, perhaps your bug tracker comes with it natively. So uh, the second thing that I actually did to help accomplish uh, the automation of this is I went and I created iterations within my project. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into depth here because this is, you know, pretty obvious stuff. But uh, what I they're they're called packages, I guess, in, in Jira. But I labeled them as iteration one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera. You know, with the subtitle here that you can see, you know, iteration three, sprint three, milestone one to kind of do it both from a granular perspective and, and a, more, a more coarse perspective. So then I, I shoveled tasks into each iteration respectively. So doing that, as I open and close uh, iterations, you know, as they pass, you can see then down here is actually my automation. Within Jira, you can actually set up uh, particular charts. You can set up pie charts and, and, and line charts and graphs and th this nature. But what you're seeing here is actually a burn-up chart of created versus resolved issues. So what my bug tracking system is automatically doing for me is creating a burn-up chart saying, 
hey, you have this particular velocity of issues or user stories being created, and here's your catch-up velocity uh, of showing you actually where you are in attempting to catch that trend line uh, going forth. So now what I am not illustrating here, and this is partially because I have set up my point user defined field as a text field and not a numeric field is this particular chart is uh, only associated with uh, the number of, it, of issues within my system so right here I'm saying that right now I have 300 and some issues within the system of which a hundred and some have been completed now what, what, what is missing is the weight of those points you know I'm not multiplying the point value times that issue to kind of show more of a um, uh, more realistic of difficulty or amount of work that has to be done so this comes native right now in JIRA and I could if I switch from the text to a numeric user defined field actually do it um, uh, I could actually create a, uh, a, a better one which I'll show you here in a quick sec uh, but for what comes out of the box, th th this is really good. And like I said, I could customize it, but it's just not the way that I'm doing it right now. So with that said, let me quick switch over to Excel and I'll show you actually how I'm doing that in Excel. But before I do that, sorry, I say Gwen, <laughs> I got digress here for a second. Before I do that, let me actually show you how I'm going to get um, all of those point values and suck them out of the, the bug tracking system is in JIRA you have a nice feature where you can export all of the fields um, into uh, Excel here and so if I open up this in Excel and I bring it over what I'm more or less just going to easily do is I'm going to run a particular query I'm going to select all the rows and I'm just going to look here at the sum of what the point values are so let me pause here for a quick sec and get, get open my other Excel spreadsheet. Okay, I'm back. So what you're seeing here is I took, you know, I, I exported my particular queries or filters, as they call them in Jira, and actually put them into an Excel spreadsheet, which then I can track this way. And this is how I track my burn up charts with, um, you know outside of JIRA uh, if I'm trying to do something special or or in this particular case I'm too lazy to set JIRA up exactly how I want it out of the box you know anyone with any ambition and any skill set in computers whatsoever could do it and lickety split no problem so right here I, I have my Excel so like I said I'm lazy I just exported on the uh, Excel looked at the sum at the bottom and then started putting in, in, the, in the points right here. So what you can see right here is this is the same burn up chart that you saw on my dashboard, only now it has the point uh, variable within it. So I'm trending up uh, right here and you can see then my uh, trend line down here. And then I do some extra calculations here as well, uh, figuring out what the, the average velocity uh, per iteration is and the average growth so hopefully that gives you guys some idea of actually how you can automate these things I and mean, you're, you're, you're not stuck completely tracking these uh, on on paper uh, hopefully there I mean there, there's there's tons of issue trackers out there that can help you um, I, I really recommend JIRA I, I really think it's it's a really good and very flexible product um, but by all means, uh, do use the best tool for, for the right job. So until next time.